Tesla's ramping up production of the Model 3. But is the electric vehicle evolutionary or revolutionary? And what do its parts and the way it's made tell us about the future of a multi-billion dollar industry? To find out, UBS Evidence Lab tore it to pieces. And for context, they tore down a 2014 BMW i3 and a 2017 Chevy Bolt and turned it into a competition. Three cars, three laps, one race to capture the global auto industry. Engineers highlighted the Tesla powertrain's next-gen military-grade tech. It had the best power, torque and acceleration. But they calculated it was moderately more expensive to make than UBS auto analysts had expected. A shift to silicon carbide in the inverter resulted in a 10% increase in semi-content in the powertrain. More efficient design resulted in an 80% reduction in HV cabling compared to the Chevy Bolt. Beyond Panasonic battery cells, the entire EV powertrain was done in-house at Tesla. Remarkable vertical integration, when compared to the fact that LG alone supplied around 90% of the Chevy Bolt's powertrain. Those factors helped put the Model 3 ahead after the first lap. The second lap goes deeper under the hood. Cars' compute power needs to increase significantly to be able to drive autonomously. Traditional electronic architecture is inadequate for the needs of the future. Electronic control units are consolidated into more powerful domain controllers, adding hardware and semi-content. The Tesla wins lap two, with its central compute platform and connectivity leading the way, driven by its main differentiator, autopilot mode. With four times more semiconductor content than cars with internal combustion engines, the future's bright for semis. Something else interesting too, UBS identify Android Auto as a significant challenger to today's infotainment operating systems. After storming the first two circuits, the Model 3 disappointed on the third. UBS's teardown experts noted numerous quality issues in the Model 3 they tore down, which was built in Q4 17, including inconsistent gaps and flushness throughout the car, including missing bolts and uneven and misaligned welding. The team also found the noise created in windy conditions to be borderline acceptable. Whilst many of these issues are fixable, many are difficult, time-consuming and costly. Also, the Tesla is difficult to service. In particular, the battery pack is glued and screwed together and then secured to the floor structure with 48 bolts, some of which are hard to access. In the fit and finish lap, the Chevy Bolt won with the BMW i3 right behind. Despite significant build quality issues, the Model 3 won the teardown race, thanks to the edge it has in IT and the cost, weight and energy efficiency of the powertrain. UBS calculate the Tesla has a $2,000 like-for-like cost advantage. That's today. They believe Tesla will face a challenge in areas such as range, performance, charge time and build quality before long from traditional car makers EV models. However, mimicking Tesla's innovation power on the IT side will be much harder because it disrupts traditional supply chains and organizations. Tesla's won the race and leads the championship in 2018.